In this video, I would like to give you a very quick and easy walkthrough on how to set up an Equi wireless surround sound system with the new HDMI audio module for the Sound Hub. In this example, I'll be using Oberon C speakers for all the channels and the wireless subwoofer receiver for the subwoofer channel. Should you want a deeper insight into all the settings of your Equi surround system, you can always find the information regarding setup in the user manual that you can find on our, on our website. This guide is divided into seven easy steps. Step one is to make sure that all your products have the newest firmware, which can be downloaded from the DALI website. Instruction on how to update the products can be found in the README file of the firmware download, or you can go to youtube.com and search for DALI Equi how to update. There will be two videos explaining the update pr procedure for both Mac and for PC users. Updating the products is very easy. Simply put, you download the DALI Equi firmware upgrade tool from our website. You open the tool on your computer to create the USB drive. And once the USB drive has been created, simply insert the USB drive into your Equi product and turn on the power. The LED next to the USB port will blink green and your product now has the newest software and is ready to be set up. Step two of the installation process is how to install the HDMI module. The HDMI module is what enables the sound hub to do surround sound processing. Take the HDMI module and install it into an available port on the back of the sound hub. Press it in and then secure it with the two screws provided. To put the sound hub into pairing mode, we go to st step three. Press the link and connect button on the back of the sound hub to put it into pairing mode. The sound hub will now search for speakers indicated by a spinning display on the front. Step four is how to connect your speakers. Go to the first speaker and press the speakers link and connect button one time. The speaker will also go into search mode and search for the sound hub. Once you hear a sound, the speaker is now connected uh, to the sound hub and they have found each other. Step five is how to choose your speaker placement. Here we have an Oberon 1C speaker and I want to tell the sound hub that this speaker should be situated in the front left position. To do that, I simply press the link and connect button on the back of the speaker again until the LED is on the front left position. It's shown on the back of the speaker and you can also see it on the top of the sound hub. Continue pressing the link and connect button until you've found the right placement and then you leave it there. Now you're ready to go and connect another speaker. So go to your next speaker, do exactly the same as before. You press the link and connect button, you wait for the sound and then you choose your placement. Then you go on to the next speaker and so on. As soon as you've connected all your speakers, you're ready to conclude um, the setup process. Step six explains you how to connect the VSR. The wireless subwoofer receiver enables you to connect any regular wired subwoofer wirelessly to the sound hub or to the sound hub compact. Connect your VSR with the supplied cable. The VSR can only be used for the subwoofer channel. So in this instance, you don't have to choose the placement that is done automatically. So as, you, as soon as you hear a sound cue in your subwoofer, your VSR is also connected. Step seven, the last step is to confirm all your connections to the sound hub. Once all speakers are connected and put into the right position, you simply finish up by pressing the link and connect button on the back of the sound hub one time. 
All the speakers play a sound and you're connected and ready to go. Now that all speakers have been connected, you are now ready to enjoy your system. And your Equi system will sound great by now and all you have to do is start your preferred media. But if you want to squeeze the last bit of performance out of your system, there are two settings you can do to get it to go from great to perfect. We call these expert functions. Uh, expert function number one is how to do speaker level adjustment. By using this setting, you can adjust the gain on each speaker to your liking to make sure all the speakers have the same volume in your listening position. To do that, simultaneously hold, press and hold the front panel mute and source select buttons. This, the sound hub will now go into speaker gain setup. When you hear an audio prompt from the first speaker, release the mute and source select buttons. The speaker playing the test tone will be the one you're adjusting. Also, you can see on the top of the sound hub which one you're adjusting, indicated by the LED. Use the sound hub volume control or use the remote control volume up and down buttons to adjust the, the level of the selected speaker from minus 9 decibels to plus 9. To go to the next speaker, press the front, front panel source select button to move to the next speaker. Or press the mute button to return to the previous speaker and adjust the gain. When all the speaker or subwoofer adjustments are made, press and hold the source select button to save and exit from speaker balance adjustment. Expert function number two is speaker distance. Adjusting the distance to each speaker will enable you to make sure that the sound arrives in your listening position at the correct time in relation to the physical distance of your connected speakers. Uh, all the speakers will have a default distance of three meters, but you can adjust this so it fits your speaker setup. To measure the distance to each speaker, a simple uh, measuring tape or a, a digital laser a uh, measurement device can be used, like the one I have here. Doesn't cost as much. <laughs> um, I would though recommend that you use the same distance to front left and front right to avoid any skew of the stereo image when listening to two-channel music. To adjust the distance, simultaneously press the standby and the, and the source select buttons on the front of the sound hub. When you hear the audio prompt, from the first speaker, release the buttons. Adjust the sound hub volume control or use the remote control volume up and down buttons uh, to adjust the distance of the selected speaker. The sound hub distance display will show the adjustment from one meter to seven meters. To move to the next speaker, press the source select button to move to the next speaker or pre press the mute button like in the gain adjustment to go back. When you've adjusted all your speakers, press and hold the source select button to save and exit from speaker distance adjustment. Your Equi surround system is now ready to use and will be perfectly set up in relation to your specific speaker placement, distance and preference. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for supporting Dali.